Welcome to Virtualize Everything, where we strive to educate and inform the viewer about technology and technology-related topics. Today's video presentation is going to be about one of the new video features in Proxmox 7, and that is the feature of adding repositories. I have done some preparatory work in setting up a new Proxmox install on one of my servers so that we can work with it a little bit without affecting any of the other things that I have going on. So if we move over to my main demo server, you can see here after I click on the server, click on updates, that there are a few updates, but we are running Proxmox 7.0-10. And here in the repositories section, you can see that there are a few no subscription add-ons add applied. Now, if we move over here, following the same path, you'll find there are no updates available. And when we move here, the repository does not have the no subscriptions add-on. If you note here, this is a new feature, this tab called Repository for Proxmox 7. Formerly, we had to actually modify the sources.list file in order to add or change repositories. So this is a very handy feature within Proxmox 7 for doing this type of work without having to use the command line. So moving back to the original update screen, I want to hit refresh and show you what is happening. You will notice we're getting two separate error messages, one here and another one here. This is because we do not have a subscription for our Proxmox install. But if you do not have the money for a subscription or you're trying to do a home server setup for educational purposes. Don't fret. We have a way around this to receive the newest updates. So your server, just like mine, can be at the newest version. We do sacrifice some reliability in doing this because we say to Proxmox that we're willing to test the latest update in order to get those updates early. So we actually get them before the Proxmox Enterprise clients, but we're testing. So the first thing we need to do to get rid of the error messages that I just showed you is to highlight this PVE Enterprise repository URL and hit disable. This removes it from our sources.list file. Now, we want to go in and add our no subscription repository. So to do this, we're going to click add. We'll be presented with this message again. And I think we all know by this point that we do not have a valid subscription. Now, here is a list of the different repositories we can use. We're not using Seth, so we can not pay attention to that right now but your no subscription and test repositories are here. Now, tests are the absolute bleeding edge of updates. No subscription has a little bit more testing involved. So we're going to go ahead and use the no subscription repository. And all we need to do now is just click add. And you can see we have added the new repository to our Proxmox server, and we are ready to try it out. So let's go back to our update screen and hit refresh. We're still presented with this message saying no valid subscription. But now, after clicking OK, we gather a bunch of new repositories and we notice that we have no longer received an error message. Instead, we are presented 
with task OK. So closing this, you can see here that we now have available to us a bunch of new updates. So for the sake of time, and I believe that I have presented enough information to you to see that this actually works, you can see that we are able to now get updates from the Proxmox No Subscription Repository. If you look here, you can see that after this update was run, that, or upgrade, which we would run by clicking here to install all of them, that we would be at Proxmox 7.0-10 for our virtualization environment. So if you liked today's video on a new feature for Proxmox 7 and you have already not done so, please like, share, subscribe, and possibly consider clicking the bell icon to receive notifications for the newest, latest videos from Virtualize Everything. As always, have a good night.